Hey gang, what's good? Welcome back to Pillars of Eternity. Here we are at Stalwart's Inn, the Grave's Rest. Remember this old place? Well, um, hopefully you also remember uh, Kern, who we got um, the quest, uh, or did we get the quest from? Yeah, from uh, Kern here at, at the Grave's Rest. We got it from him to investigate the whole bleak oath thing. Remember where they burned down the house and uh, we had to confront those uh, bleak watcher paladins who were... Uh, Going a bit buck wild. Well, we finally caught him. Yeah. We took care of him, owned him big time, and here's uh here's old Kern. Finally, he's been waiting here, worried for the longest damn time. And you know what? We're finally back here in action, and we've got Zawa with us. We've equipped a little bit. We put some uh, equipment on him, just some uh, some some general stuff. We didn't uh, actually give him much uh, or any of uh what we had on Hiravas or Hir Hiravas. I don't remember how you say his name. But um, this is all of uh, Big H's equipment right here. This uh, little uh, 2x8 unit in Aloth's, uh, the Aloth zone. <laughs> all right. What's up, Kern? Maybe he'll have a kernel of truth. Oh my god, that was awful. <laughs> it's late! It's late, okay? It's late. I never meant for any of this to happen. I found the Bleak Walkers. You did? What happened? I dealt with the Bleak Walkers. Hattie and Elwina were killed, but Eska is alive. Gods, Hattie, but Eska lives. You've saved him. And for that, I owe you everything. I can't ever make any of it right, but I'll try. Here, take this, and thank you for sparing me a final stain upon my soul. Wow, jeez. Oh man, and check it out, we leveled. I think the last the of the levels. Yeah, look. Well, eh, I don't know. I think that is the last, but yeah, see, experience would have uh, tipped over. I believe 16 is the cap with um, the old uh, white march Just in say tow. the word. All right. So we got Kern taken care of. We got some uh, Buku bucks. I'll invest in levels in between videos. Um, we'll, we'll just keep it, uh, keep the level in our pocket for now. But anyway, uh, we also need to head out here because we have, um, the last bounty for Magrin's, uh, or not Magrin's, th those are the people who we killed. Remember Magrin's faithful people out by, uh, where we met Durance? We had to go back there and there was like a Drake or something when we went out there for a different unrelated quest. We said, oh my gosh, this must be for just a bounty. And it was. And it was for the last bounty of White March. And we're coming on out here to turn it on in. I don't quite remember where Roadwith is. No, that's Asha. Where is... Who is Roadwith? And where are you? Where is Roadwith? Oh, no. I thought that this person was out there. But they're not. Oh, jeez. This isn't good. Were they in Graves Rest? I don't remember getting bounties from inside Graves Rest. Maybe. They're not showing up anywhere in the, the map, are they? No, Yerdin's Wagon. Nope, nope, nope. Let's see. And there wasn't anyone up here either. Yeah, we would have noticed them on the way in. Oh, good lord. Well, here we go. Maybe this... Could we go inside this building? It doesn't... No, we couldn't. Well, shit, maybe they were in Graves Rest. Holy wackadoo. Where were you, Roadwith? Oh, jeez. I, I mistook him for Asha, who was out there. Roadwith! Let's see, maybe it says on the quest. Uh, let's see, Bounty, Mogren's Faithful. No. Roadwith. Oh! Oh my god, I'm dumb as hell. It's late. Like I said, it's late. We do have to give it to Asha. Roadwith, Roadwith is the dude who we killed. We have his head. Oh, Jesus. Seven hells, Ned. Okay, I'm sorry, Asha. I just ran by you with this guy's head. Here you go. Looking for work? I know we've got plenty to do around here. I'm here to collect on Roadwith's bounty. That's a relief. Even if they weren't headed for Stalwart, I didn't want to take the chance. Here's a reward, as promised. Got some XP, got some money. 
Had some new reports come in, thought you might be interested. Hoped, anyway. Oh shit, so there are actually new ones. Huh, maybe we ought to do this. Oh look, Whitestone Hollow, we need to head out there anyway. There's a group of Lagafoth causing trouble in Whitestone Hollow. Like the avalanche wasn't bad enough, right? Then there's a pirate. Brynlod? That the Fangs want dead. Oh, the Fangs. Huh, well, we're familiar with them. I wonder if we would have gotten this quest if we hadn't met them yet. I suppose we probably would have. Um, let's see. I'll, ta I'll take on the Lagafoth. Earned a little nickname for themselves. Red Water Lagafoth. On account, these little charmers drag their prey under the water. They turned up in Whitestone Hollow recently and have been menacing the locals. Plenty of coin in it, too, for the one who takes them out. Tell me more about this pirate, Brynlod. 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 A cipher from the Deadfire Archipelago. Hey, me too! Except the cipher part. The kind that swings onto a ship and convinces the entire crew to drown themselves. Oh, man. Jeez. I was into the whole swinging onto a ship, but not the whole convince them to drown themselves. Uh, apparently Brentlod heard some stories about the kind of treasures that turn up in Ingwithin ruins. He's come inland. The Fangs sent their best warriors after Brentlod after he poached a few temples. But they didn't put a scratch on him. Word is Brentlod has was last spotted around Deerford Crossing. Oh, we've been out that way. Bring me Brynlod's head, and you can collect on the payment the Fangs are offering. Cool. Look, we got levels for everybody except Zawa, who's actually Zawa behind on a ready. level. Because um, he has been up inside the uh, the old companion... Uh, Just say the what word. What would you call it? Recombobulator. All right. Let's head on out there. Oh, at the edge of all known things added. The quest expires in three days. Oh, holy wackadoo. Maybe we'll send Mama Sad on this, that way she gets some XP, huh? We'll keep her, uh, on her toes. Keep her at the ready. When we eventually pull her back out, she'll be closer to level cap. Let's see. The famous and wealthy Rawatai scholar Amaya has been, uh, Amaya? Am Am Amia? Has been compiling a massive codex of Yora's varied legends over her long life. Pulling from Almawa sources as well as from Edir... Uh, Old Valia, the Ashamidal Plains, and Nasatak. The work is truly gargantuan, spanning thousands of pages. While she has had scribes busy for the last two decades copying her current body of work, a few folktales have remained out of her reach. She has attempted to contact the Elder Glamfelon of the White That Wends, arrange a special meeting with the Edir uh, Ein Scythrua, Cythru and among and sit among the most revered Rio of Erglanfath. In all attempts, she's been unsuccessful due to various threats that stand in her way. These last subjects will be the final chapters of her life's work, and she is seeking experienced adventurers to assist her. All right. Well, who better than Mama Sad? I mean, there's quite a few better options than Mama Sad, but we're sending her nonetheless. She's got to get that XP, baby. All right. Ready when you are. Let's see. Where is Whitestone Hollow? We're heading out there. We're all well rested. We're starting this uh, today's video with everyone needing a level. Good Lord. Probably should have turned in quests at the end of the last one. Thinking of it. But uh, eh, what are you going to do? Whitestone Hollow. Here we come. 12 hours. Heading on over there. Going to be a whole bunch of Lagafoth probably patrolling around. Probably end up wiping them out before we help out Zawa. We should actually read over Zawa's quest real quick, because, um, truth be told, I've completely forgotten what it's about. Something about, um, oh god, remember his, his old group of monks, they, he, he went out to try and find enlightenment or something. They all got messed up, and he's, he's, he's like their last chance, their last hope of survival. Yeah, Secrets of the Takan. Search for and pursue the Spirit Lion. Spirit Lion. Alright, let's see here. We're looking for some weird celestial lion. Secrets of the Takan. Uh, Zawa mentioned a place called Whitestone Hollow, east of Stalworth, that he felt had some spiritual significance to him. He requested that we explore it. The lion seems to be leading us somewhere. We must catch up with it if we are to find answers. Zawa has asked that we travel into the wilderness east of Stalworth, where he encountered a place that resonated with his soul. 
He hopes that there might be answers there that might help him fulfill his vow to free his his people from slavery. A little typo there. Ready when you no are. No big deal. Happens to the best of us. Oh, are we about to witness the lion? There is a spirit oh. lion there, just ahead. Can you see it, Watcher? Zawa's wide-eyed, wide-pupiled eyes track the movement of some unseen animal. The lion was the symbol of my master, Ishipilo. This is a sign. Man, what if he's just tripping some major balls right now? Has he come here at last to teach me what he would not in life? To be the Anitle. Oh yeah, the Anitle. That was, um... The super monk of their group, right? Who was super enlightened and would have to pass down their stuff, but something happened along the way. Let's get a refresher. The Anitle? Remind me? This is a Nalpazka warrior who has ascended from the snares of the material world. He cannot be beaten. Right, and he needs that power to avenge his, his folks. It was Ishipilo's greatest secret. Even on his dying day, he refused to pass it on to me. If he had taught me, I would have been able to protect the Takan. We would never have been conquered. Right. Okay. Uh, I thought the Kesham... Fuck me. Kesh model had defeated you. Isn't this too late? What do you propose we do? Uh, let's go with number two. I thought they defeated you. Isn't this too late? I swore to return to liberate my people when I had learned to become the Anitle. This... This lion, this is what I have been waiting for. All right, Zawa, who am I to judge? Let's go catch a, c a celestial galactic lion. What do you propose we do? I have some herbs prepared. Oh, Malkichoa, no. Plus some things I've been saving. We should eat them so we can meet with the lion in its world. <laughs> yeah, all right, man. Sure, dude. Let's fucking do it. It would be my honor if you would come with me on this journey. A watcher may see things that I cannot. Yeah, sure, man. Give me all that shit. I'll eat it up. Let's start tripping some major balls over here, Zawa. Zawa looks to the rest of the party. That goes for everyone. Oh. I would welcome the presence of friends. He pours a scattering of leaves and mushrooms into a cupped hand and holds them out for the others to inspect. Diverus, you can't be serious. Oh, they actually have lines for it. Oh my gosh. I love that. I'll try anything once. Bunch of times, if it's good. Oh, Edder's got a good attitude. Good old Edder. Oh, man, gotta love Edder. Maybe I could just inhale a few of the spores. Aw, I love Team Watcher. There are simpler ways to understand the world, Monk. A single stroke of my staff would do, but very well. God darn, such a stick in the mud. Are you ready? All right. Um... I had questions first. Let's... Of course. Oh, okay. They're the same ones. I thought maybe we would ask about the, the drugs. All right, sure. Let's go. Fucking dope me Excellent. up, dude. Zawa distributes his mix of herbs, keeping a generous amount for himself. The plants give off a variety of strong, conflicting odors. Some sweet, some acrid, and at least one that induces immediate sneezing. Their appearances are largely unfamiliar to you. You drop a handful of the mixture into your mouth and chew. Oh man, we're doing it some acid! Or shrooms or everything under the sun, I guess. The taste is dull and earthy at first, but within moments of chewing, it becomes powerfully sour, then sweet like nectar. And then it begins to take on a new character. It's unlike anything you've ever eaten before. <gasps> Your vision swims, and you see the world in a different, more vibrant spectrum. Zawa takes one look at your expression and laughs. <laughs> you are ready. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Oh, what's... Oh, man. Oh, dude! Oh, my God, this is rad! Holy shit! I can't believe we put this quest off for so long. Look at this. Does the map look different? Oh, what? What the fuck? Oh my god. Okay. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Holy Do shit. Do not let the lion escape us. Okay, dude. Let's quick save first, though. 
Oh God! I hope those bandits aren't going to be here. Is We're going to have to fight them. Uh, no, oh, stay focused, Zawa. Do we have different wind howls through the trees, fluting and musical? But you feel no breeze upon your skin. Oh, the Did lion! Did you see is... where it went? Oh, small fish dart between the stones. Little flickers of color, uh, there and gone again. Spirit lion, come back! <gasps> that spirit lion is a man. This man's face is weather-beaten, and his eyes are sunken deep into his skull. His body is scarcely more than a string of bones. He speaks with great effort, his voice dry and grainy. You... will you help me? Water. From the waterfall, please. Why from the waterfall? Why not the pond? I can carry you over to the waterfall, and you can drink from the source. I have better things to do. I'll see what can be done. Why from the waterfall? Why not the pond? The man shakes his head sadly. It appears to be the same in every way, but alas, it only makes my thirst greater. Huh. Only water from the waterfall will do. I wish it were not so. Okay, am I supposed to carry him? I mean, he looks pretty heavy. Edder, Palagina, one of two heavyweights want to do this? Uh, I'll see what can be done. He nods and thanks and offers you a water skin lying beside him. You'll need this to collect the or You will need this oh, to collect the water. I will be forever grateful. Okay. Fill the water skin with water from the waterfall. Is that the waterfall right there? Looks like it. Yeah. Okay. Man, this is this is weird. Remember all this was um frozen over, wasn't it? Some kind of ancient water temple or some pillars of eternity. I don't know. Pillars of... I don't know. <laughs> Methamphetamine, more like. Oh, shit. The waterfall's going up! Oh, no! <laughs> oh, good God. All right. How do we... Here we go. Oh. Oh, look. That's, that's a familiar uh, image. Water flows from a pool at your feet upward onto the rocks above, as though time itself were flowing in reverse. It sounds more like a stream than a waterfall. Okay, let's take a look at it first. The column of water is clear and pure. Its flow is steady, but not torrential. Other than the direction, of course, it seems ordinary. Oh, can we examine it again? Examine the water. Oh, okay. It was still lit up, so I was... Uh, gather some water in the water skin. You place the skin in the water and invert it, filling it steadily. Okay. Almost immediately, the water around your hand begins to roil and hiss. You feel an excruciating, burning pain as the water begins to eat away at the skin of your fingers. Holy hell! What? Focus your senses and seek out the edges of the illusion. Okay, perception check. Go! Despite your pain, you cast your gaze anew upon the waterfall. There is no coiling steam of corrosion, nor do you smell burning flesh. The illusion is incomplete. Armed with your awareness, you focus on holding the water skin within the column of water. The illusion gradually falls away, as though it knows it has been thwarted. The pain dulls and fades outright. The ghastly apparition of your mangled hand fades as well, replaced with a hale and healthy appendage. Okay. Got some E.T. action going on there, too. The water skin has been filled, and you may proceed. When you go to replace the stopper, something strikes your hand from below. Having been carried upward by the waterfall current, it drops into the pool. You reach down where it fell, and withdraw a handful of jewels, pure and blue as the water itself. You've lost an item. Thirsty man's water skin. Okay. Oh, shit, look at all that. Sapphire, two topaz. Ready when you okay. are. Okay, is are these real? Do I need to take this back to the man? Is he gonna be there? Maybe this was just some kind of treat. Oh, it looks like we can speak. Have you had any success? Give water. We were able to capture some water, yes. 
Wonderful! I've waited so long! Oh, okay. We got it. Oh, we lost his water skin for a water sh for the same thing except full in parentheses. Okay. His fingers tremble with excitement as he closes his hand around the stopper and slowly twists it. Oh god, what if it's really hot and it burns him? And he's, like, not able to detect it. The stop- or see past the illusion, I should say, like we were. The stopper comes free suddenly and flies from his hands, propelled by a violent burst of steam. Oh no. Oh, no. He upends the water skin, holding it above his lips, but not a single droplet falls. He shakes it, twists it, squeezes it, all to no avail. The water is gone. Given his history, I am surprised he had not foreseen this possibility. He longs not for the water, but for the experience of first tasting it. He is bound for disappointment. What are you even talking about, Zawa? He longs for the first tasting? Of first tasting it? What? His suffering is very pretty, yet it feels empty. What value does it have if he refuses to learn from it? Can he not see that he seeks something that can never be recovered? Oh. Yeah. Okay, Zawa. Oh. Ishapilo sits meditating. He opens his eyes and looks at Zawa. Hello, pupil. You come to me with a question, do you not? Wow, he sounds sinister. Oh. He coughs, dry as desert sand. Zawa stares at him, his mouth quivering faintly. Yes, Ishipilo. I have sought your wisdom across many lands, over many years. Are you here to grant it to me? Yes, yes people. people. I am here for you. For you. you. Yeah. You, you, you. Zawa nods, draws a deep breath. Our people are captives of the catch model. I need to know the secrets of the Anitle. Of course. of course. The answer has been with you the whole time. You are blind not to <laughs> Jesus. Ishipilo breaks down into a coughing fit. As he coughs harder, granules of dust fly from his mouth in plumes. Oh my god, he's gonna turn into a, a pile of ash. Master, please, I cannot hear you. Zawa steadies him by the shoulders, but Ishipilo's cough only worsens. Dust pours from his lips by the mouthful. Answer me! Zawa's hands tighten around Ishipilo's frail body. He shakes Ishipilo, but the coughing continues. He shakes him again, and in Zawa's hands, Ishipilo turns to dust. It scatters instantly to the winds. Oh, shit. Oh, no, it went right into Durance's face. Ugh. Zawa looks at the dust on his hands, holding them cupped as if to preserve some vital piece of his master's wisdom. Despite his best efforts, the winds carry off the remains, leaving him with nothing. He frowns. Even after his death, I have always felt that when the time was right, Ishipilo would find a way to teach me his secret. And yet here we are on his trail, and his knowledge is no less a mystery to me. Is this what I am meant to see? That his teachings will always be beyond me? Perhaps it's time to let them go. We aren't done here yet. There must be something more worth learning here. There is more to the Takan than Ishipilo's teachings. It hardly seems to matter. The Takan no longer exists. Uh, I like the idea that there's more to the Takan than Ishipilo's teachings, but also we do have more areas to explore here. Um, let's say the most helpful thing to, for Zawa. There is more to the Takan than Ishipilo's teachings. You speak truly, but his knowledge is the difference between a free Takan and an enslaved Takan. Zawa cannot help but seek it. Yeah, that's fair enough. Okay. Just Let's say the word. looking around. Can we actually go in this? Oh, wow, we can. Oh, no, wait, we cannot. My mistake. All right, so we did actually see the lion go this away. Just decide for whatever reason to explore up there, just because we could. 
Are we clearing... Oh. What? Is this thing gonna fight us? And what is this? The grass ripples and heaves like the flank of a breathing animal. Spirit. A lone spirit hovers back and forth, agitated, muttering. Oh. I can learn from them, from their mistakes. Their failures have revealed the path to me. And I am very close. The spirit points to a scattered collection of maimed and contorted bodies distributed around a stone pedestal. Something odd registers in your mind about the corpses. And then the realization dawns. They all appear to belong to the same person. What the fuck? Ooh, there's a lot of dead people up there. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I wouldn't be so sure. Zawa chuckles. What are you getting close to? On that pedestal you see before you. The one with the bodies? A shiver of irritation ripples over the spirit. Yes, the one with the bodies. As I was saying, on that pedestal you see before you, I placed a gem for safekeeping. You have never seen such a perfect gem. I regretted leaving it behind almost immediately. It has been my every waking thought ever since. Uh, why do you want it? It is all I have left of something that was important to me. Very important, by the look of it. I might be able to get it for you. The spirit seems to consider this. Wisps of essence dart in and out of its shape, like bolts of electricity. That would be most welcome. Can't we watch him fetch it once? Maybe pick up some pointers? Alright. Let's take a look. Let's quick save here. I guess this is going to be some sort of weird puzzle. Okay. Oh, look at that. Huh. Okay. Should we Ready just go one are. at a time, then? What right. is this that so many have died to approach it? Oh, God. Oh, God. Is this it? Yep, yep. There it is. Got it. Um, sentimental gem added to the stash. Oh, grave step. Oh, some drugs. Okay. A dangerous drug made from a mixture of various mushrooms and pieces of fungus infected Audra. Oh. It allows the user to more clearly perceive the structure of souls, housed or otherwise. When the drug expires, the user is, tempor the user is temporarily blinded. Okay. I want to get to that one body up there. Oh, fucker! Not feeling my best here. Oh, Jesus Christ! Whew! <laughs> Sorry, this is, uh... uh... There we go. Oh, stalwart rabbit stew. Okay. Got it! Don't worry, everybody. I, I was on Were the case. Were you able to retrieve the gem? Yep, here it is. I Yes, I have it here. The spirit pulses excitedly with light and warmth. All right, man, we got a bunch of XP for this that one, too. This is a great relief. Give it here. The spirit extends claw-like translucent hands toward you, cupped together, and when you let the gem drop, it passes through the spirit's hands and lands on the ground. Ah, clumsy. No need, no need to worry, I've got it now. Oh, he's just going to be pawing at it on the f on the ground, isn't he? The spirit crouches to pick up the gem. It scoops at the gem, but cannot make contact with it. It does so over and over. This is a snare my master never told me of. How great, how subtle the hold of the past upon us. Hmm, let's keep moving. Zawa nods. Okay, oh. A shaman. An old shaman hunches over a translucent table. Paint is streaked on either side of her eyes like flames. She casts an assortment of strange objects onto the table. 
a finger bone, a stale gear tooth, a turtle shell, a few stones painted with symbols. She studies them over and over with disbelieving eyes. At last, she looks up. There is no mistake. The portals do not lie. Lady Webb, is that you? Zawa, you will be our chieftain. You will succeed Ishapino and lead us to victory over the Ketchmata. I will tell Ishapino that he must accept you. The path must be cleared for your reign. Oh, shit! Oh my god! What a terrible thing you've just done! Shaman, shaman, why have you done this? Oh god! Uh, am I in stealth? Yeah. It's hard to tell. Oh well, we're fighting now, aren't we? Alright, let's um go for this gigantic spore before our mind controls the crap out of us. Just in case, Palagina, flame on. Uh, Zawa, come over here and start punching the crap out of it. Let's see, yeah. Uh, let's see, Aloth, you can knock down these ice trolls, why not? Let's see. Uh, Durance, buff debuff over here. On these. And let's see, Edder. Run interference on these trolls. Okay. Uh, let's see, Palagina. Hmm. Launch a nuke over at the giant spore. Oh god, am I... Okay, yeah. Palagina, belay that order and just run over toward me. I'm ready. That way I'm within your blasting radius. There we go. Alright. Uh, let's see. Let's fire away at the spore. And Aloth. Um, let's see. Do a stunning blow. Right there. That shouldn't affect Zawa, should it? Huh. There we go. Alright. Uh, Palagina, let's see, do a thwack. Where are you exactly, Palagina? Lost you. Uh, oh, there she is. Okay, yeah. Thwack this, uh, wind blight. There you are. And Durance, do a big time debuff everywhere. Fantastic. And, oh, he was still about to do buff debuff, wasn't he? Okay, there you go. Alright. Zawa, how are you looking? Um, let's see. Swift strikes, yeah, that's an attack speed buff. Let's do it. And let's see. Let's lay down some more crap back here. And let's see, Palagina. Did you kill that? Yeah, you killed the Wind Blight. Come over and fight these trolls. Let's see, Endurance. Um, give us a regular ass buff. There we go. Zawa, go over there, beat him up. Let's see. You can do a stunning blow, why not? It's immune. Very well. Um, let's see, what does this do? Oh, reduces might. Does some extra damage. Hmm. I guess, I mean, he's still got this thing active, doesn't he? Yeah, three more seconds. Why not, let's do it. All right, cool. Do another stunning blow over there. That's ranged, we'll swap targets. We'll go into that one. Actually, I will, uh, I will go on this one that's almost dead and finish it off. Assuming Palagina doesn't finish it off with her uh, AOE. There we go. Swap weapons, fire away. Let's see, Edder, you also swap targets. Oh look, it came back to life. All right. Oh, we got it all. Oh no, never mind. Alas thing went through his domination. All right. Wow, Edder sure is taking a beating right there. All right, let's do some healing. Why not? There we go. Oh shit, it came back. Yeah, of course it did. All right, there we go. Fair enough. Is the uh, ghost gonna come back? Oh, still breathing heavily, Zawa appears to appears deep in thought. 
He notices your glance. The shaman's vision always stayed with me. After my master had passed, even after the Takan were conquered, I thought of what the shaman had said and held on to hope. But I wonder if it did not also make me proud and foolhardy. If I ignored my own defeat because I did not believe it possible. Hmm. The Takan aren't defeated yet. You're still here. A source of hope is never a bad thing. You may liberate your people yet. You let your pride get the better of you. Um. Hmm. Let's, um, yeah, let's give him some hope. Let's say, yeah, the Takan aren't defeated yet. You're still here. Zawa has done his people no favors as chieftain, and the catch model would mock your words. Uh. But what you say is true, nevertheless. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's Ready loot this big are. old fungus. Ugh, I had a... Oh, that's probably from the, uh... Not this, a problem. This, uh, Dilem gun or whatever the hell it was. Just say the All word. Right. Stealth mode, see if there's any hidden stuff. Oh, look, it's getting cold again over here. Huh. Okay. Weird. Alright, I wonder where the lion went. Maybe it went over this way? No. Doesn't look like it. Okay. Maybe over by the burnt building. Maybe the burnt building has become something else in this vision. There! Oh, I see it! Where? I don't see it. Is it up here? By this thing? You gaze at the stone surface and find yourself reflected there. Your eyes bright as stars. Where is it, Zawa? Is it around this burning b barn? You draw close to the embers and find the air between you cold. Your arms prickle with goosebumps. Okay. Well, Zawa, I think we took a wrong turn at Albuquerque or something. Alright. Maybe it's up here in this little corner thing. Nope, nothing up here. Oh, spirit antelope. Oh, let's talk to it. An antelope stands gingerly on the muddy grass. Its fur is matted and stained dark around a deep oozing gash on its left haunch. Have you come here to eat me? Whoa! Uh, not really, but I can if you want. We are not here to eat you, but you are easy prey. Is there nowhere you can hide? The beasts of this place would catch my scent. I would not get far. But there may be a way I could be protected. A great tree grows to the north, whose sap has an odor that is repellent to predators. If you could draw this sap and rub it into my coat, I would be safe. I could heal and return to my herd. Oh shit, we can just have Durance heal the animal? Oh man, I really want to do that. Durance, you heal this animal. I could heal this beast, Watcher, but not in the way that the monk would want. Mm, yeah, fair enough. I would ask neither kind of healing, as neither has any lesson to offer. Keep to your own trial, Durance. Oh my gosh, she refers to him by name and speech. Wow, okay, cool. Oh, I wouldn't dream of interfering. I await the sound of broken bonds or a broken back. There is a music to both if you listen for it. God. All right, where is this tree? To the north, beside a cave. You will not find a larger tree in the forest. All right, farewell. Galloway's speech or steps. Pretty sure we know exactly Ready when is. you are. All right. Let's see. This is it, right? Yeah, we had something that was buried around by it, didn't we? There's like a little hidden gem. Is that where we got that uh, diving helmet? Can't remember. Nonetheless, we'll dig on into this tree and grab some disgusting sap. Oh, did we get it? Yeah, repellent tree sap added to the stash. I bet we'll come back and he'll be dead. It's probably a lesson, you know, when he goes back to try and save the Takan. Oh no, they're all wiped out! It's Zawa who's just the last of them. At least that's a... Uh... Oh, 
Yep, there we go. What do you know, Joe? We are too late. The wolves have come. It was a mistake to leave the animal here, unprotected. We could not have stayed forever. It was bound to die. We might have protected it for a while longer. We should not have left it. We did what we thought would give it the greatest chance of survival. Um, yeah. We did what we thought was best. That's the important thing. And it even asked us ex explicitly to do this. Yeah, we did what we thought would give it the greatest chance of survival. That is difficult to accept. In my heart, it feels as though there was more we could have done. I mean, how could we have known? We wouldn't have known, Zawa. Don't beat yourself up over it. In the end, though, the wolves would have come. They can smell weakness from great distances. We may have been bound for failure from the start. Oh, yeah. Fucking... <laughs> What does he say? It may seem like you're running a 12 carat game of bad luck, but the truth is, it's been rigged from the start, Zawa. Bang. Oh, oh, it became a person. Chieftain Ehuelia. An unusually tall man with brown, leathery skin and regal carriage bows to Zawa. Chief Ehuelia. Ehuelia. Why are you here? I come, I come on behalf on of the Ketchmaster catch to pay you tribute, great chieftain. Tendons bulge at the side of Zawa's neck, and his fists are clenched. For the first time since you met him, he appears on the brink of losing control. He speaks through gritted teeth. You have come to see if I am ready to protect my people. The Catch Model chieftain smiles, bearing glistening teeth. Well, are you? Ooh, he became a wolf. All right. Stealth mode. And everybody else, get on in there. There we are. Uh, let's see. I'll put a dot on the chieftain. He looks tough. There we go. Uh, let's see. Aloth, lay down a stun. Uh, Zawa, go up there and hit that monk. Palagina, nuke that monk. And Edder, you just run after the monk. Intercept. Let's see. Do some buff debuff action here. Actually, just just buff us just buff us up real quick. We'll buff some up once everything's in position. Alright. Let's see. Now let's do it. There we are. Okay, Palagina, flame on. And get up on in there. Blast that monk. Thwack him. There we go. Clarence, where the hell are you? You're getting the shit beat out of you. Oh, God. Yeah, do an emergency heal there. Let's see. Um, let's finish off this wolf. Let's see. Palagina, toss around a bouncing heal, starting on Durance. Let's see as well here. Let's, um... Let's do a stunning blow. Include that priest up there as well. Stunning freeze. Freeze flame. There we are. Durance, did you get the heal off? Yeah, you did. Alright, lay down Consecrate. Oh my good god. Hell, Gina, get that heal off soon. There we go. All right, put another one on, on just for good measure. There we are, and let's see, let's knock him down. <laughs> you should have run. <laughs> okay, now come over and attack this wolf. Ready when you are. Nice. Alright, just the wolf left. Oh god, what the hell? Some sort of bouncing fiery doom. Ready when you are. Alright, got him. Zawa contemplates the body of his enemy. When the catch model chieftain saw me, he knew I was not prepared to resist him. If I had been more convincing, 
I have always believed they would not have attacked. They'd have come for you sooner or later. If you could have mastered Ishapilo's teachings, they might have left you alone. Agreed. A better description might have kept you safe. It's impossible to know. Huh. Yeah, we can't know for sure. Don't... Yeah, the, the lesson here is not to beat yourself up over it. It may be. But I believe I was mistaken. This was the life of the Takan. We lived knowing that one day the wolves would come. And finally, the day came when we were wounded and could not escape them. Hmm. Zawa shakes his head and smiles bitterly. I have been caught in a snare, worrying over things that could not be changed. These visions shame me with their truths. Ishapilo never warned me of this, but I should have seen it sooner. I have become a slave to knowledge I will never learn. I have denied all my failures. Yet, I feel no different, no freer than I was. There is something I am missing, even now. Huh. Uh-oh. Oh! Oh, jeez! What? This may be our answer. Let us see what has been uncovered. Wow. Okay. Let's see. Yeah? Let's loot these things first. I wonder if we get to keep this loot. This weird spirit world loot. I mean, to be fair, it's not really much worth keeping, but still. Ready when you are. It's loot nonetheless. All right, let's head on up there. Maybe we'll meditate in these. Get a... Meditate at the... <laughs> it looks like fucking... A thing out of Destiny 2 where you go... To the Shard of the Traveler. You must, you must come, come with come me at once. Zal, you should not be If you are caught, they will execute you. And they will not fail twice. I do not care about my life, Namaltia. I come to liberate the Takan. We will unite and revolt. I forgot just how much uh, of the dialogue in uh, White March was voiced compared to the base game, huh? And who will you unite? Our men are dead or broken. Their labors were too cruel. It's a good sign of the things to come in uh, Pillars of Eternity too, huh? Our women, our women are mothers to catch my children, children now. now. The Takan live only in your mind. Hmm. Oh, shit. Zawa stands in silence, staring where the apparitions had been. Did that really happen? Who was that woman? What was that about? Did that really happen? Some years ago, Zawa considered that he might never learn Ishipilo's secret. But he had vowed to return to his people. And so he did. Oh, shit. He journeyed to catch model, and while their warriors were off raiding, he spoke to the surviving Takan he found there. What was that about? An argument Zawa had with someone once. His jaws clenched. Nothing came of it. Who was that woman? She was a Nalpazka warrior, eldest daughter of the shaman. Ah. She was... Would have been the wife of the Takan chieftain. Oh. If the Takan had not fallen. You never told me. For once, Zawa seems unable to meet your gaze. Zawa has never spoken of it to anyone. His face is tense, his skin lacking its usual smoothness. He looks old. He waited too long in returning. If there was a time to liberate his people, it passed long ago, while he searched for the secret of the Anitle. Why did you continue to search if you knew you'd f failed? There had to have been something you could have done. You should have taken your revenge then. Or, your revenge then. Why did you continue to search if you knew you'd failed? Zawa is quiet a moment. Ishipilo's knowledge was the one last thing of Dakan that might have been recovered. 
But I see now that I was caught in a snare. The gem, the antelope, the waterfall. Their lessons were not about Ishipilo's secrets. They were about my vow to return to the Tukan. Right. He is quiet again. His eyes search the ground, then seem to fix on something. You look down to... You look down, but see only a small worm burrowing into the earth near his feet. He stares in that direction for a time, then slowly, he looks up at you. The time of my people has ended. There is nothing more I can do for them. The words seem to surprise him. The Takan lived their time and made their mark on the world. They need nothing more from you. What you do from here on out is for your soul alone. You are the last of the Takan. What you do, what you do now, you do in their memory. The culture of the Takan and their Nalspaka warriors still exists within you. You can still carry it forward. Uh, yeah, it's really up to you. You don't have to strike out on your own. You can still continue uh, their stuff if you if that's what you want. Or you can, um, you can continue on as just a guy. It's up to you, really, Zawa. Uh, but since it seems like you want their memory to live on, we'll go with number four here. The culture of the Takan and their Nalspaka warriors still exists within you. You can still carry it forward. Their time on Aora was too brief. There is much the rest of the world might have learned from them. Much that I might yet share. Zawa looks around and smiles flatly. The dream fades around us. I believe it is time to return. The brilliant colors around you seem to dull. Shifting objects settle into their true forms. Zawa appears the same as he always has. The same shredded skin. The same fluid posture. Only the look in his eyes has changed. Oh. Oh, and we're... Oh. Zawa was granted a Anitle. Anitle. Oh. Did he actually become Anitle? Zawa is ready. The unworth path added. All right. Uh, let's see. What is um? What does that do? Oh, ten percent attack speed. Pretty good for a monk, I guess. Uh, before we call this, let's check out this thing that got added here. Uh, let's see. The unworn path. Among the kind wayfarers in the among the kind wayfarers in the event that a member of the order dies of natural causes. It is customary for the paladin to request burial in a dangerous place that is difficult to reach. In fulfilling their lost comrade's request, the other kind wayfarers forged new paths that others may more easily follow. When the elder paladin Adrim Delphar died, his brothers and sisters set out to Redflower Lake in a remote eastern part of Raid Saris, but they never reached their destination. With so few kind wayfarers left in that part of the Eastern Reach, the Order has reached out for assistance in recovering their comrades and helping them, helping see them to their resting place. Okay, well, I'd send Grieving Mother out, but uh, she's a little busy. We probably shouldn't send uh, him out. Let's see, who should we send? Who's in need of some XP? Oh, probably Sagani, because we still haven't done her quest yet. Yeah, let's send out Sagani. Oh, can we? Okay, yeah, there we go. All right, cool. Well, when next we come back, um, I'll have invested uh, points in leveling. Uh, almost all of Team Watcher will be level capped. We won't trade in Zawa yet. We'll at least finish out um, the uh, the bounty out here, and then we'll probably um, eventually trade him out before we leave and and go to do Siege of Crackhold. We'll probably get uh, Hirovase or whoever the heck we want. Till next time. Peace.